Hi, welcome to Benedict's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. Today is a beautiful day here in Newfoundland and we are going to have a barbecue. I've been waiting to do this segment uh, with using side barbecue ribs and we're going to have double baked potatoes. I'm going to show you how to do all that the way that we like to make ours. So let's get started. So first off, what I'm going to do is show you my first steps of making my uh, barbecued uh, ribs. I'm using pork side ribs today. Um, I like to boil it a little bit first for about a half an hour before I start the barbecue on it. And what I will do is put it in about a half a boiler of water. And then I'm going to be putting in a portion of onion and I'm going to be putting in about three cloves of garlic. So let's get doing that. Okay, so I'm just going to cut open our garlic. So that's three cloves of garlic that we will put in here. And like I said, a portion of onion, you could use a full onion, it doesn't matter. All of this is just to infuse all the flavors through the pork ribs and you can use whatever cut of ribs you like to use and I'm also going to be using about a tablespoonful of selection of spices and this is a Montreal spice that's in here with lots of pepper so you just pour that right into the pot and we're going to be putting it on a medium heat for about a half an hour until it starts to incorporate all those flavors and then I'll show you what we're going to do next with the ribs. But before then, we'll get into our double baked potatoes. Okay, so while we're waiting for our spare ribs to boil, I had pre-cooked, I would say, our potatoes. So all I did was put it in the microwave for about 10 minutes. And, but you can do it on the barbecue if you don't want to do it in the microwave, or you can, uh, you know, cook them in the oven. So what I'm going to do is cut these in half. I put it in, at, I got it at room temperature right now because it's too hot to scoop them out when they're, when they're uh, just coming out of the oven. So if you can get them at room temperature first, then cut your potatoes. I'm doing three of them. But you do as many as what you're going to for the people that you're cooking for. So cut them in half first. Okay, so after you've cut your potatoes in half, I'm just using a melon scoop. Um, and just take all of your potato out into a bowl. And then after you've scooped all of them out, you don't have to go all the way down to the skin. Just, just enough where you got enough of your potato to mash to make the double baked potato what we're going to do and these are delicious it's my husband's favorite so we're going to do those today okay so if you want to scoop yours out while it's hot that's okay too but I just I just find it's too difficult to handle just have it warm so that your butter can melt in it and and, uh, and that way it's just, it, just, it works out nice. So we're going to do these as well on the barbecue. Now you can do these double baked potatoes in the oven if you don't want to do it on the barbecue. But the top rack would actually serve the same purpose because you really only want them to just melt all of that butter and the cream and everything in together. And of course cheese. So just keep scooping it and I'll show you what's next. Okay, so after you've scooped your potatoes out, you're just going to put it onto um, a pan with some foil wrap on it. And that way you can put it to your barbecue. I'm going to take a masher and put about two tablespoonfuls of butter in with the potato and start mashing it. And then after when you complete that, we're going to put in some cream or some milk, whichever you want to do. Okay, so I'm going to be using a pinch of pepper. And you could use black pepper or white pepper. Pinch of salt. If you're using salted butter, you can omit the salt 
going to use, and unsalted, but you can put salt in. A quarter of cup of cream or milk, whichever is the one you like to use. And then mash all of this together until it's nice and creamy. Okay, so after you finish mashing all of that together, you can take out your masher. We're going to use a spoon now. I'm going to mix in about a quarter of a cup or so of cheese. And again, it depends on you. If you like more cheese, you just put it right on in there. And it's going to look something like that. So now what we're going to do is scoop it into our potato skins. So what you're going to do now is just scoop up equal portions of the potato mixture and put it right back into your potato skins. And this is absolutely delicious. If you have had baked potatoes before, you will love this even more because all the work is done. Now some people like to put, uh, you know, some whipped cream in there or you know, mayonnaise, but this is the way that I do it. You can always add that if you want, because I don't know what you put in yours, and that's quite okay if you want to change up the recipe a little. And then sprinkle over some extra cheese over the top of each one of the potatoes. And I'm going to put a little bit more pepper because I like pepper. And that's what it looks like. So before I move on to the next step of our delicious barbecue we're going to have here today on this beautiful sunny day, the baked potatoes I did in the microwave first for 10 minutes. Again, if you don't want to use the microwave, you can do it in, use it in the oven or on your barbecue. Um, we scooped it out with a melon scoop and then mashed it up with some butter and some milk. You could use cream salt and pepper and then shredded cheese then we got our ribs our side ribs put in the water with some onion and some garlic and montreal spice and that's boiling for about a half an hour just till all of those flavors incorporates together so once our ribs are done i'll take them out and then we'll get barbecuing them out on the barbecue so it looks like our ribs are ready to take out of the boiler, so I'm going to bring them over to my countertop, put them into this dish, and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so let's get those ribs out of this boiler. So cover over to the side, and I'm going to show you what they look like. As you can see, they're partly cooked. They got the flavors of the garlic, onion, all of those seasonings in it before we even put them on the grill. And on the grill, I like mine with just the spices and the seasonings but my husband likes these with a nice barbecue sauce so I just got a thick creamy barbecue sauce there and we'll be making two kinds so these are ready I'm just going to drizzle them with a little tiny bit of olive oil and sprinkle the seasoning over the top of them And now let's take them out to the barbecue. I'm going to show you what it looked like. Okay, so I'm outside on my front deck getting ready to barbecue. But before I do, I haven't turned it on yet. So for those of you that, of course, got a gas barbecue, um, I'm, I clean it between so I don't have all of that grit on my barbecue when I'm ready to barbecue. So what I'm going to do now is turn it on, get it starting to heat up a little bit, and then we'll plop everything onto our grill. Okay, my barbecue is ready to go. Um, we got a pretty windy day here today, so bear with me if uh, you find it difficult to hear me at any time. Um, I'm going to try to uh, talk to you between the wind, if that's possible. So what we're going to do is put our corn on top, and we're going to be putting our baked potato up on the top warmer. We're going to reach for those delicious ribs, which I've already oiled. to our grill and get them started to grill. Remember they were part cooked first which helps 
the grilling process. Just put them down like this. We're going to close down on the door and let it feel the love. Okay, so now let's turn over our ribs. Of course, everything, I'm too short for everything. So even for my grill, I got to get up on my tippy toes to do my uh, barbecuing. Um, also, so you're just going to flip over your ribs and let the other side get char brown and then the same thing with your corn and your baked potatoes is coming along nice again excuse the wind i'm going to give you a nice close up here okay this is coming along lovely okay so we are about 15 minutes into our grilling and we don't need very much so what i'm going to do now is put a half of my ribs with barbecue sauce and the other half I'm going to keep them grilling like this but everything is coming along lovely as you can see char broth, char broth. beautiful okay so again I'm just using a nice thick barbecue sauce hickory smoked I'm going to put it on three of the ribs I'm going to leave the other three I like barbecue sauce but I love it just grilled more so I'm just going to flip these one more time and put the barbecue sauce side over. And then I'm going to put equal portions on that side. And this is coming along lovely. Okay, so I'm just going to put some more barbecue sauce on this side. It's coming along nice. And usually, a little secret, my husband is usually the one that does the barbecue in our family. But for today, our show I'll do it for you so it's coming along nice I'm gonna put the lid down for a few more minutes we'll take it off and show you what they look like okay um, I'm thinking that our barbecue is done I lowered the double baked potatoes down onto the grill just to give it that little bit more of uh, a quick heat uh, the, the ribs are all done and I got myself a small drop of wine because I was told that you can't have a barbecue without a beer or a glass of wine. So I got that there. So what I'm going to do now is take this off the grill, take it into my kitchen and show you what it all looks like. I hope you found that portion of Bonita's Kitchen interesting because it was so much wind out there. It could almost blow the eggs out of a chicken. That's what my husband told me to tell you. Anyway, so let's plate up this delicious meal. It was well worth it. So again, I'm going to be putting a corn on the plate. And that's the barbecue one. This is just the grilled. It's coming a little closer and I'll show you. Okay, I'm going to put one there for now. I'm also going to put a little bit of sour cream over the top of my baked potato so now this is as good as it gets so we got our grilled corn our nice pork side ribs double baked potatoes delicious can't wait to have a taste what i love about having a barbecue we can do everything on the barbecue and of course if you want to put out some vegetables and grill then you could do that as well and that is quite simple just put it on your top grill um, I'm going to have a little taste of mine. The barbecue one is for my husband. I'm going to have a taste of the one that's just grilled. Mmm. Just look, cooked all the way through. So juicy and delicious. And a taste of my potato. Mmm. Delicious. I hope you found this episode of barbecue ribs and double baked potatoes helpful for you today. We were so excited to do this one. We were glad it was a nice sunny day. We can't help the wind and again I'm still winded from that blowing but it was very enjoyable. Of course we all know so many ways, different ways to barbecue, make homemade barbecue sauce, you know, and you know the way that we grill 
you know, black smoke and grill to the way I did it with balling it first. I like to do that because it's less time on the grill. So again, I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please subscribe to Bonita's Kitchen up at the top right hand corner. Hit the link on YouTube and it'll prompt you to what you need to do. You can also visit me on www.bonitaskitchen.com, my Facebook page, and send me a tweet on Twitter. And before I end my program, send me a message. Let me know how you barbecue, um, what you like to barbecue on your grill. And remember that Bonita's Kitchen is a teaching tool to help you that don't know how to cook, grill, or bake to show you how to do it on Bonita's Kitchen. So from my kitchen to yours, I'm going to say cheers. I'm going to get into this delicious meal, and you have a wonderful day. Mm.